Hi, my name is Shosh Meltzer, and in this demo, we're going to show you how to create reusable page fragments in Oracle Visual Builder. We'll show you how to create a fragment, how to then take the fragment and embed it into multiple pages. We'll show you how to pass parameters to the fragments from the containing pages, and also how to fire events in the fragments and catch them in the containing pages along with their payload. Let's start. So fragments are a new feature in Visual Builder Studio, where you can create, for example, an employee choice fragment. A fragment is a piece of page that you can use in other pages. So over here, we can basically define the user interface. For example, we're going to go over and browse our business objects. Look at the employees and drag and drop their get many as a table onto the page. We can choose which columns to show, how to show them, and create our base user interface for the fragment. Now that this is located here, we can go to other pages and add the fragment to that page. For example, over here in this page, we can look up the fragment container, drag and drop it into here, and map our fragment to be displayed on this page, like that. Any change that we would make to the fragment would be reflected in the containing page. For example, if we want to be able to select an employee, we can take a hyperlink, drag and drop it into the table to add another column here, set the text to say select, can do the same thing over here. And now if we go back to our employees page, we'll see the select appearing here as well. Now, sometimes you would want to dynamically control how a fragment behaves depending on the page where the fragment is contained. To do that, you can define parameters for the fragment. To do that, just go over to the variables and for example, create a new variable. We create a show select variable of type Boolean. We can mark this to be a required input parameter and provide the default value of two. Now let's use this parameter to control whether the select link is actually shown here. Let's click the link and surround it with an if. The if is going to be dependent on this new show select variable. So if it's true, we're going to show it over here. Right now, if we go back to the containing page, we can see this is shown because we're passing true by default. But we can pass false, and then the link would be hidden. So this is how you can pass parameters into the fragment. But Fragment can also pass parameters to their containing page based on events. So let's go back to our Fragment. And over here, we're going to define a new event when we click the Select. Right? So we select here and we define a new event. What we're going to do here is we're going to use the Fire Event action to fire a new event name. So let's create a new event, amp chosen event. Let's go to this custom event and customize it. So one of the things we can indicate here is that this event should be emitted to the containing page, to the container. This way the container can get this event. The other thing we can specify here are parameters we're going to pass. So for example, we can pass in uh, the chosen AMP name. So this would be a parameter that we're passing with this event. This is our payload. If we go back to the action that actually invokes the event over here, we can now map a value to this parameter. We'll take the current selected row 
and from the row we're going to set the parameter to be equal to the name. Now let's go back to another page and in this page we're going to reuse the fragment that we just seen. So this page allows us to go over, select a department, and then select who is going to be the manager of the department. So this is supposed to show us a selection of employees. Just like before, we can bring in the fragment container, place it in here, and map it to the fragment we created. This time we're going to pass through as the show select, so the selection would show up. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to define an event on this fragment container. Over here we'll see the custom event that we created and we can react to it. We're reacting using an action chain. The event itself is going to get a parameter, which is the chosen employee name. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this value and assign it to a field on our page. So over here we have the information about my department and I can take the chosen employee and assign him to be the manager of this department. Let's go back to our user interface and see how it works now. We'll select the department, click select the manager. We'll be able to select this manager and the name would show up here in the containing page. Clicking done, we'll close that dialog. So this is how we created a single fragment that is used in multiple pages. Passing parameters in and passing parameters out.